guys. Now I hope you've had an amazing Christmas and you're really looking forward to New Year. Now for me, the few days in between Christmas and New Year are generally quite quiet and a great time for me to experiment with things I've never cooked in the kitchen. I also had a few gifts I didn't manage to get out before Christmas. So I've been here in the kitchen making this. It's my chocolate fudge that I've topped with sugar sprinkles. To make it, I'll be using 200 grams of dark chocolate and 200 grams of milk chocolate, 100 grams of icing sugar, 25 grams of butter, 397 grams of condensed milk. Now that's typically one small tin. And finally, you'll want something to decorate the top. Now I'm gonna use some of this sparkly, glittery sugar, but if you wanted to, you could use chopped nuts or vermicelli or whatever you feel looks the best. So before you get started, you'll want to line with parchment paper, a 20 centimeter square tin, because we're gonna pour it out into this. Now, you want a pan on your hob of a decent size, just pop that there, and then put in all of your bits of broken up chocolate. Lovely. <laughs> Together with all of the lovely condensed milk. also the butter. Now we're going to gently heat that until it all melts. We're not trying to boil it, we're going to be really gentle here. Now make sure you stir this continuously as it's melting nice and gently. When you're happy, everything's completely melted together and it's nice and smooth, ready to go on to the next stage. And the next stage involves whisking the icing sugar into your mixture. Now you could do this by hand or with a paddle beater, universal symbol. Um, as I'm having a little love affair with my new mixer, I'm actually gonna use that. So I'm gonna get this out into the mixer bowl. I'm going to slowly add the icing sugar in whilst I'm mixing. And with that mixed together, we can now get it out into our prepared tin. All in the tin, just spread it evenly across the bottom. And if you want, swap to a spoon just to make it all a little bit smoother across the top. And now I'm ready to add my glittery sugary sprinkles. And then using a spoon, just push them all in slightly. Once that's done, it now needs to go into the fridge to firm up, and that'll take about an hour. Okay, so that's had plenty of time to chill in the fridge, so we're just lifted out onto a board now. Now you could either just chop this up with a knife into nice little pieces, or I'm gonna try something a little bit different I've not done before, and try cutting some shapes out of it. So like I said, not done it before, wish me some luck. And by cutting out with the cutters is quite hard work. I'll be perfectly honest with you. It probably was easier with a knife. However, as these are for gifts, I think they look really cute and I'm gonna carry on with it. you get to eat the little tiny scraps. How do you do that? Mm. Really yummy. Right, we've done enough parts. I'm going to do some stars now. And 
there you go guys that is possibly the easiest chocolate fudge you will ever make and a really yum treat gift for anyone you want to give it to i hope you're looking forward to new year which is just a few days away now and you've enjoyed watching this video with me if you love new year be sure to give my video a big thumbs up and come back for seconds